All right, back again with another box opening here. This time we're tearing into a full case. This is box one of four of a Tales of Aria first edition case. Still can't believe that I pulled that Hard to Find doll in two videos ago. I guess depending on when this posted, it might not be two videos ago, but whatever. But it was only unlimited, but still. Let's see what cold foils we could possibly pull here. So we got a rare, rare shock striker foil. I'm just set the foils to the side. I have too much Tales of Aria bulk at this point, so I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with this bulk. But what does anyone do with bulk from this set? It's, there's a lot of it to go around, I feel like. All right, nothing there. Just basically going for the hits. Everyone already knows what's already in this set for the most part. Sigil of Sala Suffering. Sorry, Sigil of Suffering is a great card. Very nice. Great card to play. Can win some games, possibly, even for you. Even though it's a defense reaction. All right, well, nothing crazy. And no, no Majestics, no NF Majestics, no Cold Foils, no nothing yet. Oh, there's an NF Majestic for us. And Sharpened Steel Blade, or Singeing Steel Blade. Gosh, I'm out of it today. Singeing Steel Blade. And I'm Bob hitting the camera hard. That's great, good stuff. Wouldn't be a good video if I didn't hit the camera with my arm. All right, Ooh, we got a Dusk Blade. I'm gonna pull it out of the camera. Dusk Blade and a foil Amulet of Earth, which is nice. If you're looking for like common or rare foils, that's one that's really pretty. I love it. So, so far, just a couple NF Majestics. We pull just like a nice. Gosh, I'm just holding the stuff outside of the camera view. A nice cold foil. Make this opening worth it. Maybe, maybe this make this case opening worth it. Maybe a Corsham? No, maybe? No, no, probably not. And there's a cold foil. Coat of Frost. I mean, it's a cold foil. I'm not gonna say I'm not slightly disappointed that that's our cold foil. I am slightly disappointed. But we got four boxes to go. And you never know. We could get a second cold foil in this box. Oh, as I would open them wrong. And Heaven's Claws, once again, a beautiful foiling. Nothing crazy there. Come on, Coat Frost. What are you doing to us? With your ten dollars in value, what a strikeout so far! All right, that's you can't win them all. All right, and then a nice majestic there, and rights of replenishment is our common foil. And dazzling crescendo. Anything there? Nope. Nada. My first two boxes of um, first edition. We got the Seek and Destroy. Um, first edition um, Tales of Aria yielded zero cold foils, which is really interesting. I am um, actually couldn't believe it. I thought, you know, I might. I get tampered boxes or something. It just happened to get really terrible pulls. Oh, Sigil of Suffering. Really nice playable card. In foil. Gosh, keep doing that. 
All right. Winter's Grasp. Nothing else. Let me double check. Nope. Can we get a second? Well, can we get... Can we get Frigid and Alt Art? Can we get a second Cold Foil? Can we get anything besides a coat of frost and some NF Majestics? They're worth about five bucks, ten bucks. Not in for the money, but at the same time, it's nice to be able to feel like you pulled the value. There's a foil fulminate. Uh, nice to feel like you've pulled the value, at least, you know, from a box that you put into it. Now these boxes, I mean, I bought them when things were going crazy and not uh, not nearly as high. Well, not even high. I mean, prices aren't high right now. They're up. You can get them for three fifty to three seventy five a case, but you could get them for three twenty five a case. That's when I picked up this case. Thank you, Channel Fireball, for your sorry about that uh, for your need to dump a product onto the market. So, um, yeah. All right, let's mute that. And Summerwood Shelter. That's a nice card because you can come back after the fact as an instant and give yourself that plus three defense, um, which to me is awesome. Um, and, you know, protect yourself potentially against like a lightning press if you don't have any defense reactions in your hand. You know, it's nice. It's really a useful card. Invigorate. I like the foil on Invigorate. It's beautiful. And Common Uberflex. I'm really thinking this box, the rest of this box, I mean, we've got three packs left. There's no way this is not uh, just Garbaggio from here on out. Might get another Majestic or two, but there's no way we get another Cold Foil at this point. And Twine Lightning, I love that. Oh, there's another Majestic. Another Fulminate, but not Foil this time. Um, and Twine Lightning is a great, I love that card for my Briar deck. Beautiful Lightning Briar deck. And second to last pack. Sting of Sorcery, yep, well, like, like I called it. I said we get another couple Majestics maybe, but uh, probably not a cold foil anymore at this point, unless this last pack right here provides us with the magic. Highly doubt, highly doubt it. But, nope. But we did get an Exposed to the Elements Majestic Foil. So we got our two Majestic Foils. We got our Cold Foil Failure, Coat of Frost, and so we got two majestic foils, cold foil, and then we got our one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got six, ma six NF majestics, one, two foil majestics, and one cold foil. And it's pretty average for Tales of Aria. Six, set eight majestics in one box is pretty average. So, all right, thanks for watching, guys. Have the rest of the case coming up in the uh, next week or two here. Thank you.